Hey guys, Greg here from Underground Graphics. Today we're going to show you the install of the 12 inch Stealth PPF screen protector. We recently got an upgrade and traded in our Black Diamond for a Badlands Sasquatch. So we've got a couple new amenities here in the cabin and uh, we're super excited for the big screen, for the sway bar disconnect, for all the, all the good stuff. With that allowed us to really get a tight of a fitment as we could with these screen protectors. Um, you know, our last one had the seven inch screen and we're using our expelled templates to cut those screens. We had a very few people wanted to get them a little bit larger. So we did it. We got just a little bit more out of it. And, uh, again, some people were asking to see what that install looked like. Um, so we're going to run this through here pretty quick. Um, what I like to start with is a microfiber. We're going to run some tape just so we, when we spray this, we're not going to get the dash soaking wet. Remember, this is a water resistant interior, so I'm not too concerned with, I don't want to soak it, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo it. Um, but we do want to get some protection on there. Um, additionally, uh, people have asked about that mixture. We really didn't talk about it in that last video. We like to do six to eight drops baby shampoo. You can use Dawn soap um, with 32 ounces of water. Um, also in that last video, we didn't have our bottle adjusted and we really you just got a heavy stream of water on there. Um, don't need that, it's not gonna hurt it. But again, if you can get a mist on there, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit better. Um, let's see. So again, we're gonna use that squeegee that we provide, a little tiny piece of plastic. And here's our stealth. You do want to make sure I've already wiped that down, but make sure there's nothing on there. Uh, again, we used a little bit of alcohol. Just make sure it was all clean. And I'm going to want to do this kind of quick. So I'm going to go ahead and start to peel back and just try to get just the very end of that corner with my fingernail. Get that started. Peel that back. Let's go ahead and spray. I mean, you do want this to be wet. Let me get the back side of that protector. Get that up on there. And now we've got a little bit of room to position that. Again, I've got just a little bit of slack. So if you want to adjust that, you can. You're going to get just a hairline of gloss on the sides of that. Now that we've got that positioned, again, a little bit more of that mixture on top. We'll go in with that squeegee and really just start working out. Don't be afraid to be a little rough with this. Make sure you get that down in those corners. And if you pull out on this a little bit, you will get a little bit, it'll release a little bit. I like to just leave it where it's at because I'm gonna go back and run that microfiber on top of this. You don't, you shouldn't have any marks under this once you're, once you're done, this is done right. If you need to go back and add a little more soapy water, you can. I love the look of that stealth on there. It makes a huge difference. And keep in mind, if there is any imperfections in that, typically that will evaporate and come out.
that's really about it. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you how to get that little, now we got a little bit of moisture down there in the bottom. Let's take that off, wipe this down. And this is that part, like I said, you can kind of pull this down a little bit. Get down in there and get the rest of that moisture out. And this will evaporate, it's not gonna harm anything. Guys, that's as simple as that. If you have any questions, just give us a call, shoot us an email, be sure and like and subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.